Hey, I have a tutorial for you of this painting and before I start I just want to quickly show you which colors I will be using uh, because I want to make this simpler. Uh, so I will use just six colors and the first one is ultramarine blue, the second one is English red and the second one, the second one is not really necessary. Uh, the third one is brilliant orange. Um, I'm using Indian yellow, sap green and uh, pyro red. And you can see some of the colors uh, I have shift in the background. Uh, I did it using those two combinations. Uh, those two are the most common. And uh, here I also wrote the companies you can pause and take a look if you want to. Let's start on the drawing. I like using watercolor pencils for the drawing because you can get uh, the drawing off later on with cleaning it off with uh, some water and paper and I like to have some color. I don't like the pencil that much but that's really not important. You can use whatever you want. Here you can see the photograph I'm using. I took it uh, when I was in Fuerteventura in Spain. And I really like the contrast uh, between the shadow area of the building and the highlights uh, because they are almost glowing in the light and I will try to emphasize this. I also like the grasses. Um, they look green here, but they weren't because Fuerteventura is a desert island um, where little plants live there, and this is actually not um, our grass. It's um, very dry and uh, more brownish. Because a lot of you requested uh, longer videos, I uh, hardly shortened this one. If you want to, for example, just see the painting and skip the drawing, then please do so. Uh, but if you do want to uh, draw along, I will leave uh, the whole drawing in, uh, because it's not really that long. This drawing is uh, very simple. Um, and as you can see, you don't have to do it perfectly like it was. Just uh, get some general shapes um, so you can uh, focus on the colors later on. You actually wouldn't even need uh, a sketch with um, shapes this simple, um, but I did it anyway because I think it's simpler. Okay, so let's start with color now. I'm using the ultramarine blue I mentioned. And I'm actually using ultramarines from different companies. Uh, and they look a little different, uh, but it doesn't really matter.
So for the first part, just fill in the sky uh, and make it a little uh, brighter uh, down below uh, where the horizon line is. Okay, so time to time to put some crazy colors in because uh, I wanted this uh, tutorial to be fun uh, and to show you you can have fun with painting and you don't have to use the pigment uh, the pigments I showed you you can even use violets or like anything you want. You can pretend uh, you have flowers on the grass or whatever. Each time I'm using um, a color that is just a little bit different than before. And uh, we will leave this dry and it will actually um, dry a lot um, a lot lighter and less vibrant than it looks, you will see. Here's a little trick how you can make the clouds. Uh, just spray in a bit of water and uh, before I couldn't uh, get the pigment off but with just a bit of water and uh, paper you can get it off uh, very easily. I had some mountains uh, behind the, the building. You can add it or not, your decision. I'm using a sable brush here. Uh, this one is smaller than before, but uh, you could use any size you want. So I'm painting the parts uh, where the sun is hitting the roof with the orange I showed you. And this orange is very strong, but when it dries up, it's not that strong anymore. So don't be afraid uh, to use saturated colors. For the roof, uh, I mixed in a bit of a red and uh, a touch of ultramarine blue, and you get this brownish, violetish um, color that is uh, quite appropriate for the shadow of the roof.
you can see the lines are still showing a lot uh, and I didn't film this later on but at the end I just uh, put a bit of water on and uh, patted them with uh, tissue paper uh, and it just went off. Here I have uh, some English rap mixed in with the blue uh, and I think I also had a touch of red but just a little I'm using the same color for the shadow area of the door. And here is a sap green mixed with a bit of uh, ultramarine blue and a bit of English red. This is a mixture of uh, green, yellow and orange. Try to leave uh, some parts uh, not coated with uh, color uh, to let the uh, layers below show through because it will add a bit of interest uh, like this and really just have fun uh, don't worry about what you're doing with the brush you can even go crazy with the colors you see I added red here and when it will dry up it won't even look weird i'm always super happy to see what you come up with uh, when following my tutorials uh, so please do uh, tag me or uh, show me however you want to because I really am super happy that uh, you actually do them.
I'm making the shadows uh, just a bit darker and now I'm painting the I don't know what this is called uh, you can see it here on the photo my camera unfortunately died here uh, but luckily I noticed uh, before I uh, finish the other side, so I'm doing this here. And uh, I have a mixture or mixture of English red, uh, ultramarine blue, and just a touch of red on this uh, side. On the other side, in the shadow, I had uh, more blue, but when this one will dry up. Uh, it won't look darker anymore. It looks darker now. And I'm adding uh, final touches. We're almost finished. I'm just using the brush uh, to add in a few uh, things that look like grass because uh, you can see uh, it looked a bit like grass before and now we're adding just a few touches to make it look a bit more like grass. <laughs> It's still not grass, but if you look at it from far, then it looks kind of like grass. So just sign it off and show it to me. I really hope uh, you liked this tutorial and uh, that you learned something. And if you did, please tell me. Thank you for watching and goodbye.